Well, thank you very much, Reverend. Um, I'm very, very pleased to be here celebrating with all of you. You know, I'm old enough to remember that song when it first came out, and I thought I should probably just admit, admit that right off the bat. Uh, and I think I had all the words memorized at one time. Uh, but let me speak about a younger generation for a moment in this, this issue that we're facing, I think all too often unnecessarily, of the cycle of poverty. I mentor a young man who's 19 years old, who's deactivated himself from gang life and continues to try to uh, keep himself clean, who has a wife, a little baby at home, who has no car, who lives in East San Jose, and who got a great job, a great job for him, a job that would allow him to take nursing classes at Evergreen Valley College but that job's in Milpitas. In, in order to get to Milpitas, he needs public transportation. Now this is an individual who skips dinner a couple nights a week himself so he has enough food for his infant. He can't afford a re the retail value of a transit pass. He lost that job because he couldn't get to the job on time regularly, a job he loved and a job that his own bosses said uh, he was very dedicated to and worked very hard toward. That's the cycle of poverty that we're talking about. And that story is repeated over and over and over again in this valley, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, even while we stand here today. This, these 1,000 passes, I hope, are just the beginning of a new way of thinking, a way of thinking that this is a valley of abundance, that there is enough to go around. And that's why last September 25th, when PAC posed the question to me and several others on the panel and said, can you do this? Can you commit? Actually, it was a reasonable question. Can you explore this? I would have been satisfied to say yes to, can you do it? We should be able to say yes in this valley, a valley, a valley that's heralded it as the economic engine of the world. In that valley, we need to do better, and we need to make sure that young people who are victims of the cycle of violence, cycle of violence and the cycle of poverty are able to get to their jobs, get to their education, get their babies to doctor appointments, support their families, and a lot of that depends on simple things like public transportation. I believe the public transportation system in this valley was founded 40 years ago with these exact clients in mind. County clients who are in the system who need this help to get themselves out of the system. So they can too, they too can declare that this is the valley of opportunity and quality of life, not just for a few, but for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, PACT. I wanna add one thing. It was absolutely great, and I'm sure Sam will agree with me, to see people from PACT, from the South Bay area, make that trip to Oakland and to San Francisco on one particular day uh, to advocate vocally for what needed to be done because I'll tell you, um, we're dominated up there by East Bay and North Bay interests and uh, we feel a little bit alone sometimes. So thank you very much for having our backs on this one. We appreciate it.